This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to multiply polynomials. You'll notice here I have a box, and I'm actually going to be creating a multiplication table to do this multiplication. So uh, let's say we start off with an example, right? Let's say we have x plus 5 times x, x minus 3. So let's say we wanted to multiply these two polynomials. These are two binomials because there's two terms each. Uh, let's say we want to multiply them. So what I'm going to do is put one polynomial here at the top of the table, one term for each column. And then over here, I'm going to put the polynomial, the second polynomial here on the side, one term for each row. All right, so it looks like I have it all arranged, x minus 3 on the side, x plus 5 on the top. And just like grammar school, we're going to multiply, and I'll demonstrate. So let's say we're going to fill this first uh, box. So we're going to multiply x times x squared. I'm sorry, x times x, which is x squared. For the next element of our table, we now multiply this column times this row. So 5 times x is 5x. All right, moving along, we're going to multiply x from this column and negative 3 from this row. So you're going to get negative 3x. All right, likewise, and last, we're going to take this column times this row. So you get 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. All right, now after you're done filling the table, you then have to determine where the like terms are. There usually are some like terms and you can see here in our table we have these two guys are like terms so I'm going to combine them together. So uh, I have the x squared <clears throat> there is no like term with the x squared so it's just going to be x squared. Here we have a negative 3x and a 5x that's going to be a positive 2x. And then last I got the negative 15. All right, so we're done, and that's the product. That is the solution after multiplying those two together. Uh, all right, now let's say we have a different problem. Let's say we have a slightly larger polynomial to begin with. Let's say we have x squared minus 2x plus 4. And let's say we want to multiply this by x plus 3 to multiply those two polynomials together. Well, you notice this one's different. I've got a trinomial, three terms, times a binomial, two terms. Uh, if I'm going to use a multiplication table, which I plan on doing, uh, I need a larger table. So I'm going to need this. No, that's not sufficient. That's only going to be a two by two, a binomial times a binomial. So I need a larger table. So I'm going to have to expand. I'm going to have to put this right over there and now I'll be able to multiply so I just had to extend the table make it a little bit larger to hold the polynomials I'm about to work with alright well let's say I put this polynomial the x squared minus 2x and 4 here at the top and along the side I'm going to put an x plus 3 all right, so just like before, I'm going to fill the table. So I'm not going to put the arrows here because I think we should get it by now. But x squared times x goes here, which is going to be x cubed. Negative 2x times x is going to be a negative 2x squared. And we have 4 times x, 4x. x squared times 3. 3x squared. Negative 2x times 3 is a negative 6x. 4 times 3, 12. All right, and again, I've filled the table. So that was the mechanical part of this. Uh, but again, there are like terms. So you just got to be really careful with these like terms. So what I'm going to do is combine, of course, the squared terms together with the squared terms. And then I'm going to combine the x terms with the x terms. 
So I'm going to combine those together. Now I'm going to erase those circles because it's going to be a little confusing. And kind of that negative sign here by the 6 is hidden. So I'm going to take that away. Uh, and so this way we can see what those like terms were again. So the x cubed, well, there are no other x cubes. So is x cubed with our answer. And again, i got to combine these squares together. So negative 2 and 3 makes a positive 1. I don't need to put a coefficient of 1. All right, but x squareds going to have an x squared solution there. So it's 3 minus 2 is 1x squared, or 3 plus negative 2, either way. All right, here we have negative 6x minus 4x. That's going to be a negative 2x. And then we have the positive 12 that goes on in the end. And there you go. There's the solution. We have our, it looks like a four-term uh, polynomial of degree 3 is our solution. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out many more videos that we have. We have interactive quizzes, several lessons, so enjoy.